15 of the best places to spend Christmas. CNN Any old city can string up a few lights downtown and call it a holiday celebration. From Mexico to Malta, northern lights to sunny skies, these places are doing Christmas better than the rest this year. Malta Visiting Presepju, or nativity scenes, is an integral part of Christmas in Malta. Every year, residents proudly open their shutters, and sometimes even their garage doors, to display their holy grip confections to the public. On a grander scale, the Bethlehem Efkagency Elam is a life-size nativity experience spread over 20, 0, 0, 0, 0 square meters of formerly abandoned fields. Inhabited and animated by more than 150 actors, including entire families, the village takes visitors back in time to Judea of 2,000 years ago, complete with oil lamps, turn mills, grazing animals, crafts areas teaching traditional skills and folklore, a tavern, and of course a grotto housing baby Jesus. Downtown Valletta is also home to a lively Christmas spirit, with carolers singing outside the Baroque St. John's Co Cathedral during Advent, and a Dizian display of Christmas lights on Republic Street. The Manoel Theatre is well known for its annual Christmas pantomime, this year it's a folktale mashup titled, Robin Hood and the Babes in the Wood. A visit to the privately owned Museum of Toys, featuring dolls, soldiers, train sets, and clockwork tin trinkets dating as far back as the 1790s, is a heartwarming homage to childhood. New York Rockefeller Center lies at the core of the New York Christmas. Its famed ice rink has been around for 79 years. The decorated tree is an 84-year-old tradition. Across the street, Radio City hosts the annual Christmas Spectacular, starring the Rockets. On the southwest corner of Central Park, Columbus Circle hosts more than 100 vendors selling clothes, gifts, snacks and drinks at the holiday market. Central Park has two ponds for skating and horse-drawn carriage rides. Fashion's biggest names join in the festivities, setting up impressive Christmas window displays. The most glamorous cases, at the Fifth Avenue flagships and department stores like Saks and Bergdorf, are impressive enough to melt the heart of Anna Wintour. Bath, England there are few cities in the world where you can celebrate the birth of Jesus and the birth of Jane Austen with the same amount of fanfare, but Bath happens to be one of them. December 16th marks what would have been the much-loved writer's 240th birthday, and while the main Austen love in is during the festival in September, the Jane Austen Center, and on-site Regency Tea Room, is the best place to learn about the city's most famous resident. The Theatre Royal, which Austin mentions in Northanger Abbey and Persuasion, has a varied program of holiday drama, musicals, opera and concerts, including Jack and the Beanstalk and French farce, The One That Got Away. A seasonal favorite, the 18-day Bath Christmas Market has more than 170 wooden chalets selling distinctively British handmade crafts in a quaint Georgian setting. Straddled between the imposing Bath Abbey and the venerable Roman Baths, the market offers a festive way to discover the character of Bath, which is the only entire city in the UK to have been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Bath on ice is a great excuse to bundle up and lace up skates, while the Thermy Bath Spa is the perfect reason to strip down and savor the steam emanating from the thermal mineral-rich waters of an open-air rooftop pool with spectacular views over the city. Barcelona, Spain Anyone who can manage to extend your Christmas holiday until Three Kings Day, January 5th, can catch up with Melchior, Gaspar and Balthazar than Barcelona. On the evening of January 4th, they arrive at the city's port on the Santa Eulalia, their very own ship, in bearded and velvet robed splendor. Cannons are fired, fireworks are set off, and as the mayor hands them the keys to the city, the magic of the Magi officially commences. They parade through the streets in a magnificent cavalcade of floats that includes camels, elephants, 
giraffes in dazzling costumes. Rovaniemi, Lapland, Finland. While legends dating as far back as the 1820s cite the North Pole as the official home of Santa Claus and his jolly misses, the Finns would have us believe otherwise. For them, Rovaniemi, Lapland, located just north of the Arctic Circle, is Christmas HQ. Here, children make gingerbread cookies with Mrs. Klaus, enroll in elf school or take a calligraphy class and compose their Christmas wish lists with a traditional quail. Other area attractions include the Ranua Zoo, home to baby polar bears, wolverines and moose, and the Arcticum, a science center where the mystery of the northern lights is revealed. Those in search of a truly frosty experience can stay in the Arctic Snow Hotel, made entirely of snow and ice, but equipped with saunas and hot tubs in which to thaw. Nuremberg, Germany The Nuremberg Christmas Market, Nuremberger Christkindlesmarkt, is a German institution, pulling in more than 2 million visitors each year. Highlights include a giant carved wooden Ferris wheel, old-fashioned carousel and a steam train. Unlike all those fake Christmas markets that have been popping up in the region, Nuremberg's Christmas Market Council is serious about making sure only traditional handmade toys and holiday goods are sold. No mass-produced plastic garlands here. The market's 200 select vendors also put up fantastic displays as they compete for the most beautiful stall design award. The top three walk away with a gold, silver or bronze, plum people awards. Adults can enjoy Nuremberg spicy gingerbread and mugs of mulled wine. For kids, there's the toy museum, while the German railway museum is a hit with everyone. Honolulu, Hawaii. Santa Claus dons his beach wear for the Christmas celebrations in Hawaii. What the Aloha State lacks in snow it more than makes up for in festive vibes of peace and goodwill. The celebrations center around Honolulu City Lights, a month-long Christmas display with an opening parade, live music and a 15-meter Christmas tree. The 6-meter tall Shaka Santa, Mr. Klaus dressed down in red shorts and open shirt, takes pride of place downtown, seated next to his Muyu Muyu wearing wife Tutu Mele. Quebec City, Canada Quebec brings the old European Christmas charm to 21st century North America. For those who like to celebrate Christmas around a tree made from recycled sheet metal, with lights powered by the pedaling of nearby cyclists, Quebec is the destination. A haven for environmentally friendly, outdoor enthusiasts, the city bustles with activity, offering holiday programs for all tastes. Old Quebec is turned into a Christmas village straight out of a story by Charles Dickens, while modern-day Victorians can learn about the period and enjoy plum pudding tastings at Mason Alphonse de Jardins. Sausage and roast chestnut lovers can browse the wares at the German Christmas market. The more religiously inclined can wander an exposition of nativity scenes from around the world. The nearby center desk caps to Charlevoix offers family-friendly hiking, snowshoeing and skiing, while speed devils can zoom around in a snowmobile from Nord Exp. Reykjavik, Iceland When it comes to Christmas celebrations, Iceland has a few peculiarities. Among these, 13 Yuletide lads, scruffy Santas, are said to bring gifts to nice children for the 13 nights leading to Christmas. Rows of small, beautiful huts make up the Yuletown Christmas Market on Ingolstorg. Here, visitors can pick up colorful Christmas gifts, decorations and treats. The shopping differs day to day as some craftsmen and designers set up stalls for only one day. Beaming down onto a city covered in snow and Christmas lights, Northern Lights displays add to Reykjavik's festival feel. San Miguel de Allende, Mexico. Pinatas, Posadas and Ponche sum up the festivities in this colorful Mexican city, where Christmas is both a solemn and celebratory affair. Leading up to December 24th, visitors are likely to stumble upon Mary and Joseph strolling the streets, 
as locals make pilgrimages from home to home, singing to ask for Pisada or beg for shelter as they reenact the journey to Bethlehem. Pinatas and Ponche, a mulled fruit drink, cap a long evening of peregrinations around this cobblestone city, designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its wealth of grand churches, well-preserved architecture and grand chocalos. Salzburg, Austria Birthplace of Mozart and filming location for The Sound of Music, 50 years old this year, Salzburg is chocolate box perfect. Think snow-capped mountains, Baroque architecture and traditional Christmas markets. It's even the home of Silent Night. The popular hymn was performed for the first time in nearby Oberdorf on Christmas Eve 1918. The town also plays host to a more unusual Yuletide tradition. Across Austria and Bavaria, in December people dress up as terrifying alpine beasts known as Krampuses and rampage through the streets in search of naughty children in need of punishment. The last Krampus run in Salzburg this year is on the winter solstice, December 21st. Santa Claus, Indiana Christmas is a year-round occasion in this town of fewer than 3,000 residents. Santa Claus, Indiana, receives thousands of letters a year from children trying to reach Saint Nick himself. A group of volunteers called Santa's Elves was set up in the mid-1930s to reply to each letter. The Land of Lights displays a 1.2-mile drive around the Lake Rudolph campground and RV resort. Among various Christmas-themed events, Santa hosts buffet dinners at Santa's Lodge the first three weekends in December. Strasbourg, France Strasbourg's series of themed Christmas villages morph the city into a visual and gastronomic wonderland. 300 stalls are spread out over 12 locations, with Luxembourg being honored this year with its own dedicated village. Visitors can feast on Luxembourg-style Gromberger Schelcher, potato cakes and Boksmannerger, brioche men, washed down with Gluhuayen, mulled wine. Alongside the traditional market, there's the new off-alternative Christmas fair, featuring live music and a street art trail. Queenstown, New Zealand The traditional Christmas colors of red, green and white take on an entirely new meaning in New Zealand, where red represents the Pahuatukawa, New Zealand's rupee red flowering Christmas tree, white represents the pristine sandy beaches, and green, the kiwi, of course. Sun lovers who want to join Santa in his surf shorts should definitely head to Queenstown, where warm summer temperatures mean folks can jet boat, river surf, or paraglide on Lake Wukatipu, or simply set up camp along the lakefront and enjoy a hearty Christmas meal of lamb, seafood, and chicken on the barbie. Valkenburg, the Netherlands This small town is the Dutch center for Christmas festivities. Valkenburg's Velvet Cave is transformed into a Christmas market and the residence of Santa, where visitors can see his room of presents and reindeer sleigh. The cavern houses sculptures and an 18th century chapel, as well as preserved mural drawings that date to Roman times. Gifts, luxuries, culinary treats and traditional crafts can be found at Valkenburg's Christmas markets. The annual Sand Sculpture Festival takes a Christmas story as its theme this year. Best way to reach the Christmas town? A Christmas Express train that runs regularly between Simpelveld and Valkenburg.